Welcome back everybody. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I customised a plain bar into a tropical tiki bar. When I first moved into my house less than two years ago, I decided to renovate the garden and I went with a tropical theme so I thought it would be really nice or a nice touch to add a tiki bar onto the patio. If you'd like some tiki bar inspiration carry on watching and I will link all the products that I've used in the description box. So I purchased a plain bar from Woodlands Outdoor Joinery. I gave them custom measurements so that the bar would fit in the space on the patio perfectly. Here you can see the bar before I customised it. It's looking pretty bare here and lacks character. So I'm going to show you how I jazzed it up. The first thing I did to create a more rustic and tropical look was to stain the wood. I used Barantine Wood Protective Treatment in the colour dark brown. So as well as providing the bar with a nice colour, it also protects it from the elements. You can see how much of a difference the stain has made to the overall look here. And this is just with one coat of the stain. My next job was to apply thatch to the roof. So I decided to go for a palm leaf thatch and I purchased this from cheekytiki.com. The thatch is made from hand-woven palm leaves it's got a kind of shaggy look to it, which creates a really tropical vibe to the bar. And I staple gunned the thatch to the roof. Also, the thatch is naturally water repellent, but I do cover the bar during the winter anyway, just to help protect and preserve the wood. I also ran a power cable underneath the patio slabs before they were laid, so that there's power in the bar for speakers, lights, or a blender. I began collecting bits and pieces for the bar prior to its arrival. Things like coasters, signs, tiki mugs, ice bucket, wind chimes, glass fishing floats and masks. I really wanted to make some signs for the bar, so I got some scrap wood. I cut them, sanded them and stained them with the same stain that I used for the bar. Then began sketching out my designs in white pencil before hand painting them with acrylic paint. To seal and protect the signs, I coated them with a clear outdoor varnish. I decided to name the bar Conyor Cove. And for those of you who know my little parrot Marvin, he is a green cheeked Conyor, so hence the name Conyor Cove. I screwed each individual sign onto a batten of wood and then screwed that onto the bar. Here you can see the signs on the bar and I'm really pleased with how they came out. I love how they add a pop of colour to the bar and also a bit of character. I bought a bracket to hold three bottles of spirit from Amazon and the brand is Beaumont. To make sure this was securely fixed to the back of the bar, I first mounted it on a couple of pieces of scrap wood that I cut, sanded and stained. This just makes sure it's really secure, it's not gonna go anywhere and it's really easy to put the bottles in and take them out. There's also a shelf at the front of the bar which is really handy for glasses, bottles and coasters. This was the bar last summer. I love the way it looks but I just felt like there was something missing. To me the front of the bar lacked a bit of character. So I decided to clad the bar with some bamboo. Here's the bar this year before the bamboo cladding is applied. So I ended up choosing 30 to 40 millimeter black bamboo screening, which I got from UK Bamboo. The customer service was excellent and they even cut the bamboo to size for me. All I had to do was cut it lengthways. So I just had to snip the wire just to create the width. I attached the bamboo with tongue tight plus stainless steel screws 
here you can see the bar with the bamboo cladding applied and it looks so much better. I'm absolutely thrilled on how the bamboo cladding has turned out. I think it really completes the look of the bar and it's such a nice finishing touch. And of course, you can't have a tiki bar without a tiki carving. Here's my awesome oak carving from Trader Tark. And then to the right of the bar, I have my Tiki Totem concrete carving from Tiki Heads, which is made up of two separate parts. I think it looks great nestled in between all the plants. To finish up, here's a little tour of the bar during the day and also when it's lit up at night as it looks really pretty. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you found the video inspiring and it makes you want to get creative and get out into the garden and create your own tiki bar. Let me know in the comments if you've got a tiki bar already or if you're thinking about building one. Thanks again, see you all soon!